Welcome, brothers, to today's morning harshan. And to start, we like to offer greetings to our Chunjing Champonimke Kyumbe Paro. And to lead us into the family pledge, I'd like to invite up Reverend Milhan Stevens. Kajang Ming said, Il, Chanyo Guk Chuin, Uri Kajangan, Cham Sarangal Jungshim Hago, Pon Hyang Tangal Chaja, Ponyane Changjoi Sangin, Chisang Chungukwa, Chan Sang Chungugul, Changon Halkusur Ming Se Hanaida, E. Chanyo Guk Chuin, Uri Kajangan, Cham Sarangal Jungshim Hago, Hanel Pumunim Gua, Cham Pumunimul Moshia, Chanjue de Piojok, Kajuni Temio, Jungshim Jok, Kajuni Deo, Kajanga Sonan Hyoja, Kuke Sonan Chungshim, Sege Sonan Songin, Chanjue Sonan Songjae, Kajonge, Toriel, Wansong Harkosul, Mengse Hanaida. Sam, Chaneoguk Juin, Uri Kajangan, Cham Sarangal Jungshim Hago, Sa de Shim Jong Gwangwa, Sam de Wang Gwangwa, Hongjok Gwanul Wan Song Halkosul Meng Se Hanaida. Sa Chaneoguk Juin Uri Kajangan Cham Sarangul Jungshim Hago. Hanul Pumonime Changjoi Sangim Chanju de Kajogul Hyong Song Hayo. Jayuwa Pyonghwa Tongilwa Hengboge Segedul Wan Song Halkosul Meng Se Hanaida. O Chaneoguk Juin Uri Kajangan, Cham Sarangul Jungshim Hago, Mail Ju Tejok Chan Sang Segewa, Te Sang Jok Chisang Segei, Tongir Hyang He, Chan Jin Jok Pal Janul Chok Jin Hwahal Kusul Meng Se Hanaida. Yuk, Chaneoguk Juin, Uri Kajangan, Cham Sarangul Jungshim Hago, Hanul Pumonim Gua, Cham Pumonime, Te Shin Kajanguroso, Chanunul umtiginun kajungi deo, Hanade chupogul jubione, young girl shikinun, kajungul wansong halkosul meng se hanaida. Chil, Chaneoguk juin, Uri kajungan, cham sarangul jungshim hago, Ponyone hyotongwa young girl dwan, we hanan seng horal tong hayo, Shimjong munhwa segedul wansong halkosul meng se hanaida. Pal, Chaneoguk Juin, Uri Kajangan, Cham Sarangal Jungshim Hago, Chaneoguk Shidel Maji Hayo, Cholte Shinang, Cholte Sarang, Cholte Pok Jongoro, Shinine Ilche Isangul Iruo, Chisang Chongukwa, Chansang Chonguge, He Bangwangwa, Sok Bangwanel, Wansong Halkusul Meng Se Hanaida. Thank you, Reverend Milhan, and to Start us off, I'd like to uh, invite up Mrs. Mie Lapalkin to offer the opening prayer. So, Mrs. Lapalkin, please unmute yourself and offer the prayer. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Um, we love every parents. Uh, uh, thank you so much for giving us this opportunity, attending uh, this morning devotions with all, all over the world, all the brothers and sisters. Oh, we are so grateful. Uh, how many, uh, many, many years of your uh, devotions uh, to us, uh, all mankind. Uh, we are here now with our two mothers uh, to try to understand more deeply how your love, your eternal, unchanging, unconditional uh, chonson, uh, love uh, we are uh, inheriting uh, through two through mothers, victorious, our two parents, victories, and also many of our brothers and sisters, and through Dr. Young, uh, his dedications. We are so grateful to inherit this enormous the foundation as blessed couples and blessed children, uh, first gen, second gen, and uh, even third gen and fourth gen, as, as we are growing. Thank you so much, every parents. Please guide this uh, morning together, all, all brothers and sisters, to receive uh, uh, this your your beautiful uh, pure love, uh, 
Thank you. I sincerely apologize my name. Let me report to the group present the families. Aju. Aju, thank you. Mie sang, mie mie report ken sang. 감사합니다. Beautiful couple. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Lopakin, for your opening prayer. And now, brothers and sisters, we like to take uh, some time to uh, appreciate the things in our lives with gratitude points and sharing with one another. So if you're prompted to join a breakout room, please click join. And if you're joining here by yourself, please take this time to reflect on your own. So let us go into our breakouts.
All right. And welcome back, brothers and sisters. I hope you had a wonderful time sharing your appreciation points with one another. And to be able to share next uh, or first with the whole community, I'd like to invite up Pastor Luke Haiguchi, Luke Higuchi, to be able to share. So you can please unmute yourself. Good morning, everyone. Nice to see you. Um, yes, I'm my appreciation. I currently become a pastor of Atlanta, Georgia. And my great, uh, grateful thing is uh, Pastor Levi to lay the foundation here, uh, devoted, uh, uh, invested the two and a half years. Really, he changed, renovated, and his passion to create a uh, good foundation. Uh, and then he, he unfortunately is because of health reason he retired it and but he had uh, lots of uh, good foundation here in Georgia. I really appreciate and grateful to receive uh, and then standing on his foundation I can do many things and then also I want to really grateful to member who participating in this morning devotion and the listening morning devotion is is very different it's a, a spiritual foundation i feel this strong foundation and uh, that's i can rely on this all those people work together and differently we can bring the uh, georgia as next bring up to next level with uh, br those brothers and sisters. And also, if member who don't listen or participating in this morning devotion, I, I really encouraging now and uh, to, my goal is all individual member could join uh, this Zoom meeting. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. Look, hi, Kuchi, I miss you. Look, look high, high Gucci. Look, look high, high, high level. Look Thank high you. Gucci. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Tai. I miss you too. Please come back. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor Luke, for your wonderful sharing. And to share next, uh, I'd like to call on Miss Rebecca Kalix. So, Rebecca, if you can please unmute yourself and share. Good morning. Oh, our beautiful girl, Rebecca, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you, Dr. Yang? Yeah, thank you. Um, so I'm grateful for God and your parents and my family. Um, yesterday was my birthday. Um, wow, um, well, congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Rebecca. It was, it was a rough day, not going to lie. Um, I ended up in the ER yesterday because of an inner ear problem that I've been having. And I was sad because I was I was able I wasn't able to be with my kindergartners, my little students. Um, because they were so cute, they were making me little birthday wishes and I wasn't able to like <laughs> share that with them. Um, so I was like I was in the ER and I was sad, but then I remembered what Dr. Young said on the ninth the day before um don't worry when you're faced with a trial um be grateful for that ordeal because that means that there's a bigger light at the end of the tunnel um because then it's the shorter the indemnity process mm -hmm. and then i started counting my blessings um and one of the main ones was i was born on my parents spiritual birthday mm -hmm. um so yesterday was their 30th spiritual birthday. Wow. And so I was born five years after they joined. And that's something that's very special to me um, because I share that bond with them. Mm -hmm. And I share that love of your parents and God with them. Wow. And my brother texted me, he's like, happy birthday. And I told him the situation. And I was like, but you got to count your blessings. And then he goes, too blessed to be stressed. <laughs> and I just laughed because my little brother always has a way with that. Um, and then we were just talking and just having a fun time. So he was able to take the stress out of the situation. Um, so I'm just, I'm grateful for God and your parents and my family because wow. without them, 
I wouldn't be able to get through in a deal like that. Yeah, thank you, Rebecca. I love your singing. God loves you. True parents loves you. I love you so much. Thank you. God bless you, Rebecca. Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca, for your sharing and also happy belated birthday. And thank you, brothers and sisters, uh, for taking this time to share your appreciation points. And now we like to prepare our hearts and our minds to receive the internal guidance from our continental director, Dr. Chunshik Yong. So welcome, Dr. Yong. 안녕하세요. Good morning, good morning, my dear brothers and sisters, clergy and members of office, 안녕하십니까. I am still in Hawaii and today I go to Kona uh, Island. I still wear the Hawaiian, Hawaiian t-shirts. I become Hawaiian. So here, very, very lovely weather. I hope my dear brothers and sisters, someday you come in here and enjoy with your family together in Hawaii. Yesterday, we had a, a beautiful breakfast meeting at the Honolulu Church Center with Jeff and Keiko Nakama, Hawaii State Leader and the main uh, members. And then we gather at the Holy Ground with the members and pray together. It was a guru photo. So many brothers and sisters joined together. We had a lunch meeting with uh, Bob uh, McDermott uh, and his wife, Hawaii current state house of representatives. So we had a really beautiful discussion together. It was a very, very good time. He's a, he's a couple, a righteous guy, you know. And then we had a meeting with the second generation and some first generation at the Honolulu Church Center, especially I gave one internal guidance to our second generation brothers and sisters. It was a really, really good time. Got a photo with our second generation. Today, I'd like to speak with the title, The Land of Death is a Land of Life. And the land of life is the heavenly land from the contents of true mother's memoir. So please, our heavenly honey, read. The 40-day course began in Cambodia on November 19, 2019, at the personal invitation of Prime Minister Hun Sen, which I gladly accepted. I flew into Phnom Penh. The Asia Pacific Summit was the first event that the government of Cambodia had ever co-hosted with a non-governmental organization. It was held in Phnom Penh at his office, which is known as the Peace Palace. At a reception prior to the summit's opening, he gathered the participating world leaders. The prime minister spoke about the importance of the Asia Pacific Summit, the necessity for harmony and cooperation among Asian nations, and the effort he had made to help develop Cambodia. I then spoke about the significance of this event. The purpose of this summit, I said, is to share that God the creator from whom we have been separated due to the human fall is humanity's heavenly parent our future is full of hope since we are holding the Asia Pacific Summit under God's guidance. Thank you, Heavenly Honey. Uh, the Asia Pacific Summit was the first event that the government of Cambodia had ever co hosted with the non governmental organization. It was held in Phnom Penh and his office, which is known as a peace palace. I was there. I'm the one who main guy to organizing this uh, Asia Pacific Summit in Cambodia. This uh, Asia Pacific Summit Cambodia conference was well known for the scale and content of the event. 
as Asia headquarters directly host, host, hosted it. My staff and I done truly miraculous job. It was a miracle that this conference was held in Cambodia. In short, Tromada is the one who makes miracles wherever she goes. It was a really unforgettable memory and event. Tromada was so happy at the time. Continue. The participants expressed their support for the goals of the summit and applauded the com- Cambodian government's groundbreaking initiative and cooperation with UPF. Prime Minister Hun also voiced support for my Asia Pacific Union initiative as a path of cooperation that would lead to peace in Asia. Following our meeting, he escorted me into the main auditorium and the Asia Pacific Summit began. More than 800 representatives from 46 nations, including several heads of state, were present. I spoke to them about our role in helping bring heaven's providence to fruition and about the coming era of the Pacific civilization, the final point of settlement in heaven's providence. I stated that the Pacific civilization will be one of true love characterized by attendance to God as the heavenly parent. In the presence of several current and foreign former heads of state and ambassadors, His Excellency expressed support for the vision of regional peace anchored in the Asia Pacific Union initiative I had proposed. Jesus said that the first shall be last and the last shall be first. This sentiment could be felt as as these delegates, though far from Jesus' homeland, signed the Phnom Penh Declaration and expressed active support for the vision of an Asia Pacific Union. So much was accomplished for the providence. It seemed as if a thousand years had condensed into that one day. I felt that heavenly parent and true father must have been very pleased with the outcome of the summit. Thank you, Heavenly Honey. Today, I'd like to introduce a true mother speech at the 2019 Asia Pacific Summit in Cambodia, Phnom Penh, Peace Palace, November 19, 2019. Please, Heavenly Honey. True Mother's Speech at the 2019 Asia Pacific Summit in Cambodia, Phnom Penh Peace Palace, November 19, 2019. Human beings need to change. They must understand the true essence. When they come to clearly understand and realize that Heavenly Parent is their ultimate parent, no longer will human-centered systems cause problems. We cannot say that all the institutions established for the sake of peace until now have been successful. However, you should know that this moment could happen only based on your wise Prime Minister Hun Sen's determination through which the Pacific Asia Union is standing with True Mother, God's only daughter in Cambodia. In this moment, we can feel gratitude and glory toward heaven and great hope for humankind. Thank you. Prabhupada here talking about they must understand the true essence when they come to clearly understand and realize that heavenly parents is their ultimate parents. No longer will human center the system cause problems. This is a mother talking about the fundamental truths, the relationship, parents and child, between heavenly parents and you know, us. If we know this point very, very clearly, which is a fundamental truth, we can settle down any kind of the problems. Human centers, centered systems, we completely uh, uh, you know, rearrange, we can settle down. Continue. 
There is no greater means than the parent-child relationship on the path to becoming one. Until now, fallen humankind did not know God, their heavenly parent, and a state of confusion prevailed. However, from now on, humankind must seek heavenly parent and each must become a filial son or daughter to that parent. This is the only way to realize the peaceful kingdom of heaven on earth that humankind has been longing for. Please know that you, the Pacific Asia Union, are riding a Chanukuk wave as you lead the way for the world to become one by fulfilling the leading responsibility. Thank you, Heavenly Honey. The era of the Asia Pacific Union has arrived officially. As you know, when through our father founded the Island Nation Federation, he said that Hawaii acts as a gate in the Asia Pacific era. The providence of the first Israel blossomed, centered on United States representing the second Israel. And again, the providence of the second Israel centered on United States should bear fruit in Korea, the third Israel centering on Asia Pacific region. True parents said he declared that Hawaii would be the gate that connects the second Israel and the third Israel, proclaiming, proclaiming and declaring the arrival of the Pacific Rim era in Hawaii. Now we can see that the Asia Pacific Union era is unfolding in earnest, centering on true mother. As we complete our 50 state tour in the United States today, I think it is very meaningful to remind us again of true mother's word about the Asia Pacific Union era in Hawaii. My brothers and sisters, the era of the Asia Pacific Union has arrived officially. So really, you know, now is really centering on the era of the Asia Pacific Union. And just I heard that the day before yesterday, just I arrived in Hawaii, I got the news that Hiroshi Matsujaki and 37 couple he just passed away and I, I pray for him. And he's the one of the main guy, you know, the Island Nation Federation for World Peace. Yeah. So let's pray for him. It is really meaningful since I arrived in, in Hawaii and he passed away. And we are again study about the era of the Asia Pacific Union. Everything is really meaningful here. Uh, a principle uh, today, living divine principle, uh, centering on principle cause for the inactivity and the weakness of today's religions. Heavenly Honey, please read. The reason that religious people have been unable to accomplish their mission. What is the reason that religious people though earnestly searching for internal truth, have been unable to accomplish their God-given mission. Just as people attain perfection of character only when the mind and body are fully united, the two worlds of essence and phenomena must join in perfect harmony before the ideal world can be realized. Spiritual joy is incomplete without genuine, physical happiness. Religions have made strenuous efforts to deny life in this world in their quest for the life eternal. They have despised the pleasures of the body for the sake of spiritual bliss. Yet, however hard they may try, people cannot cut themselves off from the reality of this world or annihilate the desire for physical pleasures, which follows them like a shadow and cannot be shaken off. This world and its desires tenaciously grab hold of religious people, driving them into the depth of agony. 
Such is the contradiction which plagues their devotional lives. Even many enlightened spiritual leaders still torn by this contradiction have met a sad end. Herein is a principal cause for the inactivity and weakness of today's religions. They have not overcome this self-contradiction. In step with the progress of science, the human intellect has become highly sophisticated, requiring a scientific approach to understanding reality. The traditional doctrines of religions, on the other hand, are largely devoid of scientific explanations. The ultimate purpose of religion can be attained only when one first believes in it one's heart and then puts it into practice. However, without first understanding, beliefs do not take hold. Understanding is the starting point for knowledge. Today, however, people will not accept what is not demonstrable by the logic of science. Accordingly, since religions are now unable to guide people even to the level of understanding, much less to belief, they are unable to fulfill their purpose. Even internal truth demands logical and convincing explanations. Indeed, throughout the long course of history, religions have been moving toward the point when their teachings could be elucidated scientifically. Yes, thank you, Heavenly Honey. Let us study more based upon this EDP content. Uh, study, let us study Father's work. Please. History is headed towards an age of science. History is headed towards an age of science, an age of scientific development pursuing the origin, researching the origin of species and grasping the fundamentals of everything that has come. Thus, religion too has to walk in pace with this. There, the religion with a subjective view which can prove the existence of God, explain the contents of creation and the world must appear. However, because such a religion does not exist, God has to prepare such a religion for as long as he lives. Thank you. There are many people who insist that we insist that people of the many religions, including Christianity, believe in God unconditionally, or rather than trying to understand and know the existence of God. Since we have entered the age of science these days, the proof of God has come to an age in which we have to prove, uh, prove it logically, scientifically, and empiri uh, empirically. Very important, otherwise you cannot convince uh, the young people these days. So not just only say, believe, 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 believe in God. We need to explain logically, scientifically, and artistically, and everybody clearly understand the existence of God. And then many people can follow. Um, there are, okay, and then please read. Unification principle is scientific. Unless a religious person comes forward with a logic that offers a clear, scientific explanation of cause, process, and result, the religious world cannot be saved. The divine principle of the unification church has such logic. In this 20th century era, we boast about our cutting edge science. We pursue the formal logic of development, but there is no place other than the unification church where we verify the existence of God with a religious theory, theory developed through formal processes. Therefore, we should study principle thoroughly and unification thought as well. Uh, 
the order of restoration, always I'm talking about the order of restoration stuff from external to internal and from internal to more internal, right? And even we look at the providence of centered on science and religion, first, the world of science develops and internally, and it is connect, connected with the world of religion. And finally, it is connect with the world of the heart. In proving God, we first develop from the principle of science to the principle of spirit, from the principle of spirit to principle of the inner heart. In the restoration centered on religion, first the religion of science is internally connected with the religion of the soul, and the religion of the soul is uh, connected with the religion of the heart. Finally, Everything need to connect to God's heart. You know, that's why we need to remind always final conclusion is a heart. The order of restoration always start from external, external environment and become more uh, and become internal. That internal condition become more internal. That's why finally any religion, any kind of a subject, religion, other science and philosophy or art, or whatever, finally need to connect to God's heart. They did the order of restoration. So please read Father's word. An age where the spirit world can be scientifically proven. The reason I told that special team to carry out a research project is because science is now highly advanced. I asked them to do research on the frequency that enables contact with the spirit world. The motions in the spirit world are all made up of vibrations. I instructed them to research this because we have entered an age where the, ex the existence of the spirit world can be scientifically proven. When we enter the age, where the unknown spirit world can be rationally understood, the age of religion will be brought to an end. It would be an age where humankind would believe in God, even if they were told not to. This is a great task. Wow, amazing, our true father's guidance. Father said, is, uh, you know, even true mother very often mentioned, now is getting closer and closer to the spiritual world, right? It is becoming a world that uh, transcends time and space. You know, because of COVID-19, we use, uh, utilize more internet through the Zoom call, right? Just within a few seconds, we can connect to anyone beyond space and time. In spiritual world, there is no space. There is no, no beyond space and time. When I miss someone and immediately appear, does not matter space, does not matter about the you know, time. So now it's more and more closer to spiritual world, you know, beyond time and space. Even though I am in Hawaii, I can connect all brothers and sisters, you know, in the world. So you, you look at that, how much the science is uh, really uh, developing and so much. Father said, now is the age in which mankind can believe in God, even if they do not believe in God. Do not think that achieving Chonilgu is very, very still far away. Do not think that way, Father said. If there is a certain expectation and foundation, God may cause some kind of the work through science to save all mankind in an in, uh, in instant, immediately. This kind of error has come. If we really show the proof through the science, spiritual world does exist. God does exist. No one can deny it. Then 
you know, who do not follow God, who do not believe in spiritual world. I truly believe that the age of psychic science, kind of the spiritual science, is advancing, and and that no one can deny the existence of God is coming very very soon, because our our true parents already laid the foundation, already the era of the indemnity is completely over now. That's why when we have a certain expectation and then foundation and creating unity and then scientific about the development and then all kind of the skill develop more and more, just as our father said, do not know what, what will happen. You know, the emotions in spiritual world are all made up of vibrations. That's why Father said, I instructed, I instructed them to research this because we have entered an age where the existence of the spiritual world can be scientifically proven. Amazing time is, amazing time has come already, my brothers and sisters. You know? Today's youth ministry also very important. I'm, I'm going to continuously talk from the yesterday lesson learned through Noah's family. Actually, the Lord's prayer was meant to fulfill in Noah's family. The Lord's prayer, Matthew chapter 6, you know, verse 9 to 10, saying that. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in, in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as he is in heaven. Wow. This Jesus uh, prayer is not just only pray at once. His prayer is really connect to God's providence all the time. God's blueprint, God's dream, uh, God's dream, you know, in Adam's family, in Noah's family, Abraham's family, and even Jesus' time, all his dream connected. That's why we can learn something through Noah's family was the real meaning of the, in the Lord's prayer. Jesus said, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. What does hallowed mean? Very much sacred, very much holy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, means that when children become holy, the water, the father also become holy. This means that the, the father's will will come true on earth. Therefore, God's purpose of creation and my life of purpose is to become a holy man and woman and a holy couple and holy parents. When I become holy man, holy boy and holy girl, holy husband and holy you know, wife, holy parents, then God's will can be accomplished. Then our heavenly father also becomes a holy. Even though God is very much holy, but his object partner, his children, now they become holy, still dirty, and going around, hanging around under the realm of the Satan. How can say God's you know, will complete it? That's why who make God perfect? Who make God become holy? Not God himself. It's up to object partner. You know, you are unfilial son and daughter. We call that father and mother. You are unfilial sons and daughters of father. Wow. 
this very important. That's why Jesus said, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Not in spiritual world, on the earth. Depending on the level of the object partner, the level of subject partner also varies. When I become holy, God becomes holy as well. Therefore, God's will will be completed only when God's ideal is achieved on this earth. God wanted Noah's family to be the center of the holy family and to realize the holy heaven on earth. I think many religious people, including Christian people, do not know the real meaning what Jesus is talking about. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. What does it mean? As it is in heaven, that was God's blueprint. God's blueprint already clear. God's blueprint, God's purpose of creation, God's idea is very clear. Even though he has his ideal blueprint and then his uh, vision, should be realized on earth, not in heaven. It is in heaven means in, in, in God's heart already completed, his vision, his blueprint already completed. That's why his vision, his ideal should be done on earth. Very important point. Many people misunderstood that. Your will be done on earth and it is in heaven means that heaven's vision and ideal of creation must be built on earth. This means that we must first build heaven on earth, not go to a heaven that is already realized. That is a reason when Jesus passed away. Before passing away, he passed the key of the kingdom of heaven to Peter, what does it mean? Why he passed the key of the kingdom of heaven, his main disciple, Peter? Because Jesus said, your will, your will be done on earth, not in heaven. First, need to accomplish. God's vision need to accomplish on earth, not in heaven first. Wow, this is a really incredible guidance by Jesus. Until our faith was the thought that Father's will was uh, fulfilled in heaven. Existing faith believe in having good faith and going to the heaven, e even if the devil's world continue to exist. However, heaven is only realized when the will is fulfilled on earth. That's why to build kingdom of heaven on earth first. That's why Jesus is saying very clearly, you bind on earth, you will be bind on, uh, in heaven. This is the important point here from now on. If we believers and known that heaven's providence is to be realized on this earth, we would not focus on the church buildings or external growth, but on nurturing people. In the future, it is necessary to, to instill a philosophy of living for the sake of others with a focus on raising filial sons and daughters in front of heaven. Many religious people say, you know, also the world just only temporarily, temporarily world, no matter how much you suffer, but I believe in God, I sure can enter the kingdom of heaven. This is a completely different theory from Jesus' point of view, from true parents' point of view, completely different. Because of that kind of the wrong understanding of the Jesus' word, Jesus' theory, through parents' theory, many people misunderstand. This world is just only temporarily, just for the time being. 
That's why they do not focus on earthly world. They more focus on kingdom of heaven in spiritual world. That is the problems. If we knew we need to build kingdom of heaven on earth, then how to build kingdom of heaven on earth? Then where to focus? Need to focus on each one of the human being, nurturing people. How can become the man of the kingdom of heaven? Not focus on building. Not focus on external environment. If we know build kingdom of heaven on earth first, then everybody will focus on nurturing people's heart. How can I become man of the kingdom of heaven? How can I become filial sons and daughters in front of heaven? Wow, oh, I really think I'm a true parent. Where should I settle down? If we settle down in, in spiritual world, then already God's providence is over. Then why we need all city war? Why? Why do we need all city war? What is the one the reason? Why, why uh, the Jesus need to come again? Why? Because we need to fulfill on the earth first. This is a very important point. Why Christian people waiting for Jesus? For what reason? To build a kingdom of heaven on earth, not just only welcome Jesus. Even though we welcome Jesus, I did not become the man of the kingdom of heaven. Nothing dealing with the kingdom of heaven. Nothing dealing with Jesus. Nothing dealing with the second coming. Nothing dealing with the kingdom of heaven. If you focus on going to the heaven after dying, it is easy to neglect, uh, neglect reality and focus on individual centered on salvation. Just only focus on individual salvation. I believe in Jesus. I go to the kingdom of heaven. That's fine. No need to focus. How about what the unification church is, uh, unification church is teaching? You need to build kingdom of heaven together. Centering on families, centering on tribes, centering on nation. I need to work together. Centering on togetherism. Completely different concept from existing religion and unification church of a theory. Completely different. To enter kingdom of heaven, you must first become a man of the kingdom of heaven. The unification church is not a place where people are prepared to enter heaven, but a place that produces people who will make heaven. Therefore, I must first become a person of heaven. Then need to focus on nurturing, nurturing people, nurturing brothers and sisters. How can I become the man of the kingdom of heaven? How can I become individual perfection? How to establish an ideal family? How to establish an ideal tribe? How to work together? How to love each other? Wow. Where should we focus? No need to build kingdom of heaven owners. Why God is suffering? Why is central figures sacrifice so much? Why, why Jesus need to pass away? And why Jesus promised to come again? For what reason? We never establish kingdom of heaven on earth. Then Jesus no need to come again. Divine principle is too clear. You know, to block Satan, the whole nation must have respect for each other. You have to infuse the heart of the longing for God. Then how do you infuse a longing, longing heart? Others should become the indebted to you artistically. Show an, show an example of the life of giving and giving and giving and giving 
invest and invest and invest, sacrifice each other. If you keep giving and sacrificing, investing, your faith will develop a heart of longing for heaven and your object. My brothers and sisters, Bible said you need to be or become perfect being as God is a perfect being. I have to become holy temple. I have to become holy sons and daughters. That is individual salvation. That is the first blessing. What's the second blessing? Not in heaven, owners, ideal parents, ideal couple, ideal siblings, ideal children in the family. This is the second blessing. Already very clear in Genesis, in the Bible. God's dream is not fake. God's vision is not fake. His dream, his wishes, his vision should be realized on the earth, not in heaven. Oh, let's go to kingdom of heaven. Let's go to kingdom of heaven. This earthly world just only living temporarily. Okay, nothing, 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 nothing. Our main, main purpose is how to enter the kingdom of heaven. Oh my goodness. That's why focus on individual salvation is really terrible. We need to focus how to nurture my heart, how to nurture your heart, how to nurture children's heart, how to resemble God how to resemble God's holiness, and then I become holy. If you want to raise a child as a filial child, parents should refrain from the alcohol, smoking, drugs, and pornography for their children, and live only because of their children, then parents will have one obedient child. If we show the mother, no chapter to problem, no drugs problem. You're free from the smoking and alcohol and drugs and sexual immorality and become really have dignity and become holy man and become holy woman as a holy couple, as a holy parent in front of children. Children automatically obey to you. How can I become holy man? How can I become holy woman? Huh? My brothers and sisters. That's why Jesus said, our father who, you know, who are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, they will be done. Owners, as it is in heaven. Wow. Jesus is very, his, his declaration is very, very clear. But many people misunderstood Jesus. In addition, what unification church members should do is create a climate, a climate, uh, the finding, victimize people, comfort them, respect them, and love each other then Satan disappears. Of course, it is difficult to put it into practice, but heaven will walk if there is someone who practice with the tears. Heaven is never indifferent. We need to have that kind of culture of a heart, loving each other, respect each other, caring each other. Those who are, have, have a miserable situation, we find them, talk to them, comfort them, helping each other, and respect God, and then, and then respect my spouse as I respect God. I need to I need to respect children like I respect God. If we create that kind of a family, that kind of an individual, that kind of a tribe, that kind of a nation, my brothers and sisters, that is. A, 
establishing God's kingdom of heaven on earth. We learn today many things through Noah's family. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Yong, for all this incredible message and uh, guidance, all for the sake of each and every one of us to become filial sons and daughters of our heavenly parents. So with that, brothers and sisters, let us take this time to really reflect and share with each other our insights and any takeaways that we may have uh, in our breakout rooms. And uh, if you are joining here by yourself, please uh, take this time to reflect on your own. So let us go into our breakouts.
Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I hope you had a wonderful time sharing with each other your incredible insights and takeaways uh, from Dr. Young's message. And to share with everybody, I'd like to first invite up the Gavin couple, Jim and Goodrun Gavin. So if you can please unmute. All right, good morning. Good morning, Dr. Young. Good morning. Hey, Annyeonghaseyo, Jim, uh, and Guran, Kevin. Thank you. Yeah, you look so so Hawaii-like this morning. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. in Hawaii now. <laughs> yeah, no, that's beautiful. But um, we're so grateful to be able to come to morning devotion and and learn about the devotion of True Mother learn about the devotion of true father and learn about God's devotion to us, mm. how, long, how much God and true parents are longing for us to really become his sons and daughters. And, mm. and they have that kind of a heart toward our spiritual children. Uh, right now we're going through 40 day separation, three day ceremony with one couple. Mm. So we're reading with them every day and really investing in them and beginning to uh, bring them into a deeper relationship with God and true parents. Mm. Um, and I think that was the missing thing from ACLC all these years is to really get people connected to God's heart and true parents' heart mm. through the 43-day uh, program that uh, you are emphasizing at this time. So it's spiritually, uh, we're bringing, bringing people back to uh, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, to mm -hmm. really get them into that holiness of God. And I want to thank you, Dr. Young, for um, uh, bringing us on this course of realization. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, Jim, and then good run. Yes, I, I really appreciate this, this topic of, of Noah. And then today you brought the Lord's Prayer into God really expressed in the sim in the way in the Bible so much his ideal. Mm. You know, even after the flood happened and Noah made a new beginning and God blessed them and uh, to be fruitful and multiply, to really have the hope to mm. have a new beginning with Noah. Yeah, right, right, right. New heaven, new earth. Yeah, so so deeply expressed and then in the Lord's prayer. So God's blueprint is always expressed throughout the ages, but through your explanation, it, it takes on a different form and we can realize at this time. It's, mm. it's really a blessed time to be alive today. Thank you. <laughs> wow, right, right. So we need to have a good run, all the running, running. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jim, and good run. God bless you. Kamsamida. Kamsamida. Thank you so much to the Gavin couple for your wonderful sharing. And to share next, I'd like to invite up Reverend Sebastian Huemer. So, Reverend Huemer, if you can please unmute yourself. Oh, wow. Oh. Uh, oh, Sebastian. <laughs> Dr. Reverend Young. Sebastian. Dr. Young, wow! I was with Milhan and with uh, um, with uh, Irene Kuni Sasao, Rini, yeah. and uh, I remember Rini. Uh, uh, she always cried when she was uh, sending her children off to um, uh, uh, the nursing uh, Jacob House, and uh, uh, off uh, about an hour away from. Um, from the New Yorker. She was standing in front of the building and then she just cried and cried, sending off her kids. Uh, so I just really, really love Irene. She is like a mother of tears, wow. an American sister of tears. Mm. And uh, uh, also, I really appreciate you mentioning uh, the group, the special group that Father charged to find a way to create. Uh, scientific um, uh, to proof for God yeah. through um, uh, the work of figuring out how the vibrations in the spirit world and on the earth to connect uh, through mediums and uh, 
I'm so grateful for Peter Nordquist, who is up here in upstate New York, who is working on that project of making a spirit world machine. Mm -hmm. So it's a very, very difficult job. So mm -hmm. I'm asking all the brothers and sisters, please pray for him and for all the brothers in that group. They are dealing with a very dangerous job. So anyway, I'm so grateful for Dr. Young to finishing the 40, the 50 days, uh, 50 states tour. Wow, it's just amazing. And I hope you have a little vacation, Dr. Young, in Hawaii. You really deserve a vacation. <laughs> you know, the Unification Church nickname is You Need a Vacation Church. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I see. Oh, that makes sense, it makes sense. But for me, I just seeing my brothers and sisters every morning and then all any stress has just, just gone away. My happiness is to uh, see you. And uh, now is the mother coming soon after mother mm -hmm. visiting here and end of the December. And then I already have a plan to uh, spend time with my family in Australia. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you so much, Reverend Huimer. And yeah, Dr. Yong, uh, congratulations on completing your 50 state tour. We will miss you wearing your Hawaiian shirt to commemorate this uh, incredible victory. Mm. Uh, but of course, we'd like, we'd love to have you, uh, be able to move around all across America again, visiting all of us once again. So tomorrow, tomorrow the uh, one more the, the holy ground uh, uh, the prayer condition in corner. Then going to complete. Thank you. Mm. Nice, That's wonderful, and uh, I hope you'll have an amazing time at at that holy ground. And so, brothers and sisters. Uh, Thank you for sharing uh, your incredible insights and takeaways uh, from our the incredible message we received. And we want to continue to share this with brothers and sisters from all across the world. As Dr. Yong mentioned, we need to build the kingdom. And in order for that to happen, more and more people to receive need to receive God's words. So whether it be Facebook, Zoom, YouTube, uh, whichever platform, uh, please share them the link edu.famifed.org so they can get connected to Morning Heart Devotion. And also, uh, if you can turn your attention towards the chat, we will be posting up the link to the donation page so that you'll be able to offer any kind of uh, donation out of your uh, heart of gratitude to support Morning Heart Devotion. And so thank you so much, brothers and sisters. And we will now uh, have or receive a musical offering. And to offer this music, we will be welcoming up Miss Diane and Mr. Ilya Hack. So Diane and Ilya, please unmute and share. Oh, really? Oh, everyone. <laughs> really, Diane? Oh, <laughs> Diane! <laughs> wow, Mr. Diane, Diane. <laughs> Oh, hey, King! I hug you. Oh my God! Uh, it feels like it's been a while. It's been a while. Thank, uh, thank you, everyone. Good hey, morning. Everybody. So, yeah. So we have a background as a, yeah. like just you know, really making it fun. Yeah. But our song for today will be uh, "Reckless Love." Reckless Love, and it's basically just explaining how much God loves us. Uh, recklessly like no matter what he's mm -hmm. always good to us no matter what we do um god has always been kind to us and he loves us no matter what we do mm -hmm. so we hope you enjoy it we don't have the piano for today but yeah well something close <laughs> <laughs> okay
You won't light up mountain, you won't climb up coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, that you won't tear down coming after me. There's no shadow you won't light up mountain, you won't climb up coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, why you won't tear down, coming after me. There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, why you won't tear down, coming after me. There's no, no shadow, shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, why you won't tear down, coming after me. There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, why you won't tear down, coming after me. So won't you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. Oh, the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I fell, leaves a 99. I couldn't earn it, and I don't deserve it. Still you give yourself away No, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God Yeah! is Diane and Ilya. Thank you so much, Diane. You are doing the role of MC. You are do doing the role of the singer. You are doing the role of the model couple. You are doing everything. Thank you so much, your couple. 감사합니다. Yes, thank you so much, Diane and Ilya, for that wonderful performance. Diane, thank you for doing everything. And Ilya, thank you for supporting her to be able to do everything. And so with that, brothers and sisters, uh, to close out this incredible morning heart devotion experience in prayer, I'd like to uh, call on Mr. Sheldon Williams to please offer the closing prayer. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, Sheldon, we can hear you. Okay, please join me in prayer. Good morning, Heavenly Father and True Parents. I thank you for this wonderful morning. Um, Dr. Young inspiring us and teaching us that without the mind and body being and one condition and one aim, there will be confusion. And with confusion, you cannot answer, Lord. You cannot be with us to teach us and guide us. So, we need to make that condition for you to enter in our life so we can accomplish our mission, which is helping building heaven on earth. I thank you for Dr. Young teaching once more. I thank you for Heavenly, Heavenly Honey's wonderful voice dedicated to your words, Lord. I thank you for my family. Thank you for everyone and morning devotion participating in your words, in your teaching. So we all can come together as one in unity and accomplish that mission. Lord, I pray for protection over every single one in this morning devotion. I love them all because they, have, they all have such beautiful hearts. And I love that, Lord. It inspires me to be a better person. I pray you be with us all. Help us to do the right thing. Help us to overcome trials. When the devil is trying to attack us, Lord, I pray you be by our side to help us to get out of such situations in the correct way, Lord. 
I pray you help us to see things from your point of view, Lord, so we can be a failure child, which is our accomplishment, Lord. I thank you for this morning once more. I love you, Holy Father. Thank you for Jesus dying on the cross for us. I thank you for heaven, which is dear for my ancestors who are past, Lord, taking care of them in somewhere better, in a better place, Lord. I love you, Lord, and I end this prayer in my name, Sheldon Williams. Wow. Thank you so much, Sheldon, Sheldon Williams, for your beautiful prayer. Come, Samida. God loves you. I love you so much. Thank you, Sheldon Williams. Thank you, Sheldon, for your wonderful prayer to close us out. And with that, brothers and sisters, thank you for joining and participating in today's Morning Heart Devotion. We're so happy to see you each and every single day. And we hope that you'll have a great and victorious day later today. And Dr. Yong, have a wonderful day as well. Bye. See you tomorrow, everyone. Have a nice day, my brothers and sisters. Bye. 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 Bye.